Hello Facebook world. Um, this is day two for me of the uh, Chew in a Day challenge that Jem has given me. Very kind of him. Um, he has suggested um, that I play a piece called um, Valsa de Dissertori or the Deserters Waltz which Jem learned from um, a North Italian band called Baraban on their 1987 album and he wrote the tune out um, he has uh, also done this and I will link it in the comments so you can hear how it should go um, like I say I'm very much a novice at the traditional style of playing um, but I will give it a shot so today's flute now I can't do what Jem does because I don't have that many flutes uh, hang on, let me put the light on. So, uh, today's flute is maybe an unusual choice because it's a nouveau flute. Yes, it's a piece of plastic. Okay, now I have a friend who has these in one of the bands uh, that she plays in and when she said that she had them, I was very sceptical. I was like, they can't possibly be any good. They must be a pile of junk. She said, well, try it with an open mind. So I did try it with an open mind. And I have to say that I was very pleasantly surprised. It does play rather well. Yes, you can tell that it is not a metal flute or a wood flute, wooden flute, but it's actually very good. Um, I was playing uh, Mozart on it earlier. I've played Handel. I've played all sorts of things. Um, I think, I think it's very good. Um, it also has this rather cool feature, where it's got the E flat key on the body. You can't really see this very well, can you? It's got the E flat key on the body, so you don't actually need the foot. So if if you're a small child and you're trying to um, you don't actually need the rest of the foot on, so it's it's easy placement. They're not going to accidentally catch anything else. Um, this one doesn't, but they also come with a curved head, so literally you could be playing it there. So it's fantastic for little children. Um, the fact that it's got a fatter body, it's got grips here that you can't really see. But it's got grips here and um, another one there, which I think is fantastic. Yes, it's a little bit. A little bit noisy, um, but I think considering it's actually very good. It also comes with, which I don't think this one does, but uh, this clips off or something somehow, and you can actually put a different mouthpiece on, which is a bit more like a recorder, uh, the beak of a recorder, I suppose, but it's very small. So it means that um, children can get something else out of it straight away don't know how I feel about that. I'd rather that they learned straight away on how to play it properly, but it's an option. And if it means that the child is going to be more likely to carry on because they can actually get something out of it, then I suppose it's an initial, it's a good idea initially. Um, so that's enough about the flute. This, this actually belongs to Jem again um so i thought i have i have a couple of his flutes in my possession at the moment um so i thought i could do a video on the flute the various flutes that i have and um of course with my own flute oscar so here is um the deserters waltz <laughs> 